PanoraMed is a strategic project um, launched by the Interreg MED program. Uh, it tests the objective to improve the governance uh, in the Mediterranean area and to create a permanent dialogue platform among the most important national and regional authorities in order to improve the policy making and to impact on the policy process for the future. PanoraMed is uh, one of the projects in the Interreg MED uh, program architecture who deals with the governance and uh, uses uh, all the other projects not only in the Interreg MED program then in all MED area for, uh, for the purpose to influence on the governance level. It's evidence-based approach so we use the results, we use the outputs and we use the best practices that was produced within the projects in order to tackle all the societal and uh, governance challenges in the MED area. The Mediterranean area is facing huge challenges, but these challenges can become also opportunities. To make that these challenges become opportunities, we need new business models to develop new business models, we need also new forms of participative governance and we also uh, need technology to support change, to support, to give answers to the real needs of people and society. Interregmed thematic communities expect from Panoramed to support them in the capitalization of policy results that they have obtained with the work of the modular projects taking into consideration a horizontal, vertical, temporal and territorial approach. And uh, the MED communities, what we expect of the uh, innovation camp is to begin uh, working together with uh, PanoraMed and uh, especially for um, identifying how, which are going to be the contributions for uh, social innovation and uh, governance innovation. So I think that it's a, it's a great opportunity to begin building the empathy and the, uh, this working group's uh, dynamics. Today's Innovation Camp here in Barcelona has been a great success because we had the possibility to discuss cooperation and coordination among the different programs, also the strategies, maritime and macro-regional, and to see how in a cooperative way we could improve the, the governance in the Mediterranean. We had some examples that we can see nowadays in our current period but also we had some ideas for the future and programs are full of ideas to, to improve this coordination and cooperation and finding synergies after all. Uh, the aim of strategic project uh, which we are seeing is based on the biotech blue biotechnology as a uh, science for uh, solving the problems uh, within the Mediterranean uh, and also as a technology uh, to make the uh, cooperation and uh, living of the uh, regions and countries better. I think that uh, Blue Med and Panora Med share the same vision on the importance of innovation and particularly blue biotechnologies for blue growth in the Mediterranean. What can we do together? Um, I think we can do a technical work together, uh, defining priorities in technical scientific terms, and we can do another type of work together. Uh, Blue Med, I think, can offer a framework, formally endorsed framework, uh, uh, to prepare and develop an alliance on uh, blue biotechnologies in the Mediterranean in support of blue growth. Projects like uh, Panoramed offer opportunity to countries that uh, are using IPA funds to get what I would say a little bit of taste, what it's like to be a member of the European Union. Uh, as we get the chance to be part of the uh, structure that involves the member states. Uh, in that sense, uh, we get to get involved in the complex tasks of multi-level go governance. Uh, 
uh, which is very important for us because we are uh, mostly dealing with the uh, uh, European Commission, certain uh, DG, DGs in the European Commission and uh, through projects like Panoramed we really get first-hand experience from member states. We learn a lot uh, and we gain uh, from their experience.